about studying at the School of Engineering in the built environment, uh, let me show you around a bit and help you make your decision. Follow me. So this is E4 in the School of Engineering and Built Environment and this is where a lot of the lecturer's offices are. So this is my office, E47, so come in and I'll tell you a bit more about what I do as a lecturer in civil engineering in the department. So I teach civil engineering, I teach civil engineering hydraulics and uh, we also undertake research as lecturers and my research interests are cycling infrastructure and human vibration exposure associated with pneumatic and hydraulic tools used in the civil engineering industry. As a student studying here, you're going to go along to lectures, there'll be some tutorial sessions, there'll be lots of online teaching and material to look at and read. Of course, you'll be hitting the library, you'll be reading for a degree. Uh, we're also uh, pride ourselves on our approachable staff as well. If you have any questions or issues, you can often knock on the door, or arrange an appointment via email and come and speak to us. You'll be appointed a professional development tutor, which will help you uh, develop your career as you progress through your degree. And also the programme leader will help in any academic direction that, that might be required uh, throughout your time studying here. Uh, typically lectures run from Monday to Friday and uh, sometimes they'll start first thing in the morning, sometimes they'll start a bit later in the afternoon and, and typically there'll be about four hours contact time per subject depending on the, the nature of the subject or what the particular lecturer has uh, installed. So the facilities at the Merkiston campus include there's a canteen, there's a cafe, you can get a good cup of coffee, uh, the library's just recently been refurbished and there's a huge wealth of uh, study pods and other areas that will uh, allow you to work in groups. The Jack Kilby Computing Centre has currently been refurbished and over the summer that will be greatly improved and for all you new students starting in September this will be a brand new facility that will be a great place to work and study and uh, meet and discuss projects and work with other students. Uh, in the School of Engineering and the Built Environment, our lab facilities have just been refurbished recently, so it's probably a good idea if I take you down there and we'll have a good look around and I'll show you some of the uh, equipment and facilities that we have in the department. Okay, so let's go and have a look around the labs. Come on, grab your lab coat. This is the robotics lab. Come in and open it and we'll show you. James McWinney's in, he can show you around. These are 3D printers, busy making various things, components we need, awards, whatever we need, prototypes. And this is the other robots over here. This is a student project. This is a piece of casing. You put a piston and a spring there. So this is the materials engineering lab. Come in and we'll show you around. This is the soils laboratory where we study soils for some engineering purposes. Come in and I'll show you. Bit. Mechanics Laboratory where we teach, uh, funny enough, fluid mechanics and civil engineering and hydraulics. Come in and I'll show you some of our new kit. Okay, so this is a good HM160 experimental fluid. And what we do is we put models of hydraulic structures into the fluid and then the students during the tutorial and practical sessions can come down and understand 
and the theory into practice in water engineering in the civil engineering sector. So this is the machine shop. Come in and have a look. That's it, drop down.